All right, all right. So we're back over here in these racks. So these are the racks. I just did the video changing the oil on that rack and this rack. Uh, so we're back tonight. We're going to install this separator. So we're going to remove this separator right here and install this one. So right now, I basically just got to fit it all up. Um, and basically what's going to happen is it's going to start with this ball valve, right? We're going two and five. And then these are two and one. This condenser line's two and one, right? So that's how I size these separators typically is I look at the line going to the condenser and then I match the size of the, um, of the separator with that. So basically this is gonna be my start point probably right there. So we'll end up, we'll end up cutting that line about right here, add the ball valve, and then we're gonna have to do some 90 action um, to get it over to the separator. So obviously I gotta flip that separator over and then we'll get that ball valve out, do some 90s into the bottom of that separator and then the top will come out and tie somewhere into this condenser, this line going to the condenser. So we're gonna start fitting that up right now. So we got this mostly prefabbed up. We just have this connection to make. And then we just made our final marks, uh, final marks here and then right there. Um, so basically what we're gonna do now, so what I like to do is pump down the rack from the liquid line. So we're gonna pump down from this main liquid line right here. We're just gonna shut that off and let the rack pump down. Uh, the only issue we might have is this receiver level is pretty damn high. Um, so in the event we top out this receiver, we'll probably just dump the rest into that other rack over there. Um, but we're gonna pump down, let the rack pump down on, on low pressure, front seat all of these compressor service valves. And then we have these two ball valves right here that will shut off. So discharge line's coming up. Right into those two ball valves. So we'll turn those two ball valves off, blow all the pressure from right here, from that discharge line. Um, and then we'll just cut, cut, fit everything in, weld it up. And then the only other thing we'll really need to do is we might have to rework this oil line uh, for this one right here. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Got everything ready to go. About to turn this thing off. Turn this off. We're gonna watch that receiver level. See what we get into. It's already almost at 80, so we'll see. All right, got the rack turned off. Just front seating all these. And then we'll close those ball valves, get rid of that pressure. Boom, now we're gonna release. Once he's done, we'll release that pressure and get to cutting. All right, got everything pumped down. We got no more pressure in here. Now we're gonna make our cuts. He's gonna cut that pipe. He's gonna cut that pipe. I gotta undo it from here. And then we'll just move this thing out. We'll move it out as a whole unit. And then we'll start placing that one. All right, just like that, the old one's out. We had to end up cutting these legs off. We didn't notice that they were tacked down to the frame. So we'll come back with like a grinder or something. Cut the rest of this off, but that one's out. Now we're just prepping this pipe. Put that new one in. Right. That first one. Had to bend those legs out a little bit, but we'll come back, flatten these feet out. Shouldn't mess with our oil line really at all. We'll flatten those out and then lag them into the floor. Going well so far. All right, just under an hour. Uh, actually, we're probably sitting at about an hour right now, but you can see we got this all tied in. We had to bend those legs. So I checked the measurement on that ball float. Um, so I didn't fuck the next guy, I made sure of that. So to get to that ball flow, obviously you gotta take the oil off, oil line off anyway. But take the oil line off, you'll be able to drop that. And then we got this new oil line running up and in. We took out that old um, filter. So what I'm gonna do now is number one, 
I want to oil all of these o-ring or all these yeah o-rings that are on here right so this o-ring and then i'm gonna get a little bit of oil put it on this o-ring right just to help it seal and then uh what you want to do with these before you start this up you're going to want to prime it with a gallon of oil right reason being is there's that ball float that's inside there so if you don't have any oil or anything in there well the, the theory is when that high pressure comes through, if there's no oil in there, it's gonna bang that ball around and it could fuck it up. So I'm gonna dump this gallon of oil in here. Switch hands. And then you literally just gotta dump it through the top. And just dump around in there. All right, that's good right there. I got it just above that lip can't see um, then I'm gonna put the filter back in and then we'll purge it so we'll purge it from this side we'll open these ball valves let it blow out and then we'll open the discharge valve on that far compressor that way it's picking up all the air coming and pushing it out so I like to do it from this side and from that side and then we'll open up that liquid line and fire it right up all right, so we got this all purged out. We opened up that end compressor right there, purged it out to way up there. Got this purged out. So right now what we're gonna do is open up all these compressors. Once those are open, open that liquid line, and that's it. That's pretty much a day right there. All right, so it's been about 24 hours since we put this one in. Uh, with these temp rights, the way these filter changes go is you, you so it comes with a filter in there, right? You change the first filter 24 hours after you install it, and then it should just be a yearly filter change after that. Uh, I guess depending on how bad the filter is, you could probably you know, change it the first 24 hours and maybe give it 48, change it again. Uh, but I'm getting ready to do that. I've, got, I've already got my filter and my new top cap uh, gasket all ready and all oiled. Uh, the biggest thing with these filters is this bottom o-ring really need to make sure it's on there and then when you pull that one out where that where this bottom seals inside of that temp right you want to make sure there's no shavings or any debris or anything this has to make a good seal in that temp right or else what's going to happen is that discharge gas is just going to end up blowing by wherever it doesn't have a good seal and then your separator it's not a separator anymore um, so I already got my half inches set up. I've got this taken off. So basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take, so that's why I installed these ball valves here so we don't have to stem in all the compressors. So I'm gonna end up turning off all the compressors, ball valve and that close, closing these two ball valves, closing this, releasing that pressure, and then I'll take that off, take out the old filter, replace it, put it all back together, purge it, and go and actually we just got done with this separator over here so we literally just got done with this right now same deal um, like literally probably five ten minutes ago still got to support this i got clamps for the for that line we got to reclamp this we got to clamp that so there's still some stuff we got to do and then obviously i'll just be here watching this rack but all right, so first thing I want to do is I'm just going to toggle these off. Um, I'm not worried about pumping down the rack right now because it's only going to be down for, you know, 10, 15 minutes at most. So I'm not worried about getting too much liquid back. All right, so next we close. Let me move that out of the way somewhere. Close this one. Close these two. Wow, that's hot. And then I just want to close this oil line right here. All right, and then with all three of those closed, obviously we're isolated that side, isolated that side, that line coming up is isolated right there. I can go ahead bleed this pressure all right we got all this plus pressure blown off we're isolated so i'm gonna go ahead and start taking all this off put it on my back please all right and then 
something I always do. Uh, it's what I was taught and that's what I've always done. Even though I know I took all the pressure out of this, I always leave a couple bolts in there while I crack this thing loose. Uh, just in case, worst case scenario, for some reason there's still pressure in here. If it tries to blow off, it's gonna get caught by these bolts and not catch us in the face. Big thing, you don't want to lose that nut right there. You lose that nut, you're kind of fucked. All right, so we're looking at this filter. You can see this is the old one. That's the new one, not too bad, right? You see the inside of that filter is white. So with these filters, you don't really look at the outside, you look at the inside. And if you can see, just like I expected, that thing's fucking black. So that's why I like these separators so much is they really go through and they clean out all that oil. So personally, if this was my store, I would let this run another 48 hours and then change this filter again. Um, I'll tell the, the guys who control this store my recommendations and then really it's on them uh, to do or do not do that. And then last thing I'm going to do is get a light in there, make sure there's no debris on that cup. And then we'll throw that one in and then seal it back up, pretty much call it a day. All right, we got this all put back together. Use the star pattern, make sure it's all tight. So last thing I gotta do is just crack this ball valve. I'll bleed it out, and then uh, we'll get this rack back up and running. Uh, but that'll pretty much do it for this video. So that's, you know, doing the whole separator, piping it in, fitting it, changing the filter the day after. So that's all I got for this one. As always, I appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, do all the things, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.